In this video, we're going to learn how to find the absolute value of a number using C. So the absolute value of a number is the non-negative value of that number without regard to its sign. We can also think of the absolute value of a number as its distance from zero. So the absolute value of five would just be five, but the absolute value of negative five would also be five. The absolute value of zero is going to just be zero. And we can also find the absolute value of numbers with decimal places. So for example, the absolute value of negative 2.5 would just be 2.5. So to find the absolute value of an int type value in C, we can use the ABS function that's defined inside the stdlib.h library. So the first thing we'll do is include that library. We'll have here include stdlib.h. Then down here, we'll declare an int variable called x. And we'll set x to, let's say, negative 5. So to call the abs function, we can have abs, and then we'll pass it the value of x as an argument. So we'll have here x in brackets. Now the abs function is going to return the absolute value of x. We could store that into another variable. Here we could have int abs underscore x is equal to the return value of abs when it's called with the value of x as an argument. Then we could output the absolute value of x that's going to be stored in this variable. We could have here printf abs bracket x colon percent d backslash n and here we'll output abs underscore x. So if we save, compile, and run our program, we get that the absolute value of x is 5, which is correct because the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Now there's another function called fabs that's defined inside the math.h library, and this function can be used if we need to get the absolute value of a float or double type value. So up here, we can include the math.h library to give us access to the fabs function. Then down here, we could declare a double variable called y, and we'll initialize it to negative 2.5. Then we'll use the fabs function to get the absolute value of negative 2.5. We'll have here double fabs underscore y is equal to fabs y. So as with the abs function, we pass the fabs function the value of y as an argument, and the function is going to return the absolute value of y, which we're going to store into the fabs underscore y variable. We'll print out that value here. We'll have here printf f abs y colon percent f backslash n and then f abs underscore y. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we get that the absolute value of y is 2.5, which is correct because the absolute value of negative 2.5 is 2.5. So this is how we can find the absolute value of a number using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.